Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I am with you because it is that time of the month where every beauty YouTuber under the sun is currently talking about the products that they've been loving for the month. I have some beauty favorites as well as some other favorites to share with you, so let's get started. I usually start with skincare and hair care, so I'm going to go backwards this month and instead start with some makeup favorites. So for face favorites, I have a primer here, a type of base product. It is the Inoxa Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. This is supposed to help minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. It's dermatologically tested, paraben fragrance and oil free. I randomly picked this product up from Priceline and it has fast become one of my favorite products. I don't even know why. I think as I'm getting older, my pores are just a lot more visible or maybe it's because I have a really um, magnified mirror that I can see how big my pores are and it's really, really gross and kind of off-putting and I want to be able to cover that up with makeup and this just does a really good job of filling in the pores, priming the skin. I mainly use it in my T-zone but it also, it's actually orange, it is the weirdest thing but it actually has like a, a bit of a concealer in it and it seems to just make them vanish. It is amazing and I love it and if you are struggling with pores, particularly if you have younger skin and maybe you have blackheads and stuff and that's they're quite visible in terms of like the pores on your nose or if you're older and you just are dealing with enlarged pores which kind of come with um, getting older then I think you'll really really enjoy this product. The next products I have here are a couple of foundations. I've been trying out a ton of foundations recently, so many, and two that I've been enjoying this month are the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation. This one has got a lot of hype on YouTube recently. I'm still kind of determining like my thoughts on it before I, I maybe review it if you guys would like to see it, but so far I have been enjoying it. Really nice frosted glass bottle. It has a pump. It gives you nice coverage. It gives medium buildable coverage you can almost get it to full coverage particularly when you're having a good skin day which I was previously I've started to go a little bit downhill with the skin but that's another issue for another day but overall it's nice it's oil free long lasting ultralight foundation it says medium buildable smudge proof coverage unique and fresh natural flawless face formula hides all imperfections super moisturizing and antioxidant enriched. I wear the shade number two fair which I think may be one of the downsides to this. This is the second lighter shade and I don't have the palest skin in the world so if you have really that porcelain type skin I think you may struggle to find a color to suit you although there is quite a range of colors and I do like the fact that they have different bases to them. Some are more pink based, some are more yellow based and they do tell you on the box when you're looking at all the different colors what like color base it has so that can help you better match and better pick a color for your skin. I've also been enjoying the Arbon Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This one has SPF 15 and I'm in the shade Soft Blush which I think may be shade number four. Don't quote me on that but I think it is and for reference I wear about MAC NW20, so hopefully that will help you guys if you're trying to pick shades. Arbonne is one of these ones that is sold through parties or through consultants. I believe you can also purchase it online as well. And I was sent this to try. I hadn't tried any Arbonne before, and so far I've been enjoying it. It has a similar finish to the Chi Chi in that it is medium buildable. It gives you quite a nice finish to the skin. But both of these foundations are ones that kind of not necessarily that, that, you, that are bad, but you do look like you have foundation on. They're definitely like, not necessarily if you're looking for a everyday foundation that looks really natural. These ones do have a nice finish and definitely something you can wear every day, but I do feel like you can tell that you're wearing foundation when you are wearing these two products. Before I move on to some eye products, I do have a blush favorite. This is the Bobbi Brown Blush in Apricot. I picked this up while I was in the US and I love this. It just gives you this really nice, fresh faced glow to your skin. I think it'd be perfect for spring and summer, although it's it's winter here and I've been wearing it. It looks really, really nice. If you apply it with like, and then put a little bit of foundation almost over the top, it looks like you really are glowing within. It gives you that really nice flush. I love pairing it with this product here. This is the Maybelline Color Elixir in Celestial Coral. It's almost like the lip gloss form or the lip color form of this blush. And together I feel like this would be my favorite everyday springtime look. It just makes you look young and fresh and awake. I was wearing these two products together in my uh, I think it's book chat number six. I know not all of you guys watch my book chat videos, but I will link it on the screen here for you guys if you just want to see what these two products look like on my face. So I've been loving those as well. 
For some eye products, I do have some repeats that I want to mention for eyebrows. Still loving the Hourglass Arch Pencil. I'm wearing it in my eyebrows today. I think it is fantastic. I think it is the fastest and easiest way to get your eyebrows done and looking great. Spoolie at the end is also a favourite of mine. I think it's awesome and I wear the shade Soft Brunette for reference. And the other repeat is the Kevin Aquan The Volume Mascara. I've been loving this. Again, it's on my eyes. I wear it every day and I just find it really easy to apply. I did have somebody ask me which one I preferred better, the Kevin Aquan or the um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which has also been a recent favourite of mine. I really love both. I think the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes is a little bit more dramatic, but I find the Kevin Aquan a little bit easier to apply and I think that's probably why I go for it every day. But both are fantastic. Unfortunately, the Tarte is a little bit difficult to get in Australia at the moment. The Kevin Aquan one you can buy through Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima. They do stock a limited range of Kevin Aquan products. I wish they stocked the entire range because I do love some of the Kevin Aquan powders as well. And if you know another place like online where you can get Kevin Aquan here in Australia other than like the Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima website definitely let me know and I'll make sure I add it to the description box for other people because um, great brand I, I really do love his stuff I recently hauled this this is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum I have the shade Deep Brown I use this along my lash line and I really really love it it's a liquid liner it has a nice like really fine brush tip really really like wet formula so it's easy to apply and I just I've been really enjoying this I still haven't got my hands on the black of this yet but I want to because I really enjoy the applicator and the formula and it is supposed to make your lashes longer I haven't used this daily so I don't know if it really does have any effect on your eyelashes but a really great product worth picking up and I got mine from iHerb I always have a link to my iHerb um affiliate link if you ever want to use that and I always have a, a discount code if you've never ordered from iHerb before as well. Great for Physicians Formula because it is um, a lot cheaper than buying it in store here in Australia. I've been going for a mainly like no eyeshadow look but when I have been wearing eyeshadow I have been using this NARS duo. So this is the only NARS uh, eyeshadows that I own. It's the Kalahari duo and I think it's just a really great kind of everyday eyeshadow duo. It has more of a purpley taupe colour and then a little bit more of a bronzy brown colour. I am wearing both of my eyes. They go together quite nicely. The shadows are nicely formulated. They blend easily and they just make for a really easy, no mess, no fuss eyeshadow look. And to go with that, I've been using my Rouge Bunny Rouge Unforgettable Oreo Eyeshadow. This is a really nice inner corner highlight, which is what I've used um, it for today. You can also use it right on your brows. Like, it's a little bit shimmery, but if you just have, like, a really thin line right at the arch of your brow, it can look quite pretty. And then I've also used it before on my cheeks as a highlight for a more of a dramatic highlight. Really, really pretty eyeshadow and a nice formula as well. Last for the makeup, I do have a lip product. This is one of the new Rimmel Lasting finish color rush long lasting intense color balms this is in the shade keeping mauve and or keep moving sorry and as you can see by the packaging if you know me at all you could tell that I couldn't just walk past this it's really a Rachel looking color however when you open it it still looks that way on the lips it's a lot more pink it's actually the lip shade that I'm wearing today and even though it doesn't quite look like the way it looks in the packaging. I still really, really like the color. I like the finish. I like the feel on the lips. It's really, really lightweight. And I can see this being my favorite like springtime lip product because it's this really pretty, nice, everyday kind of mid-tone pink with a little bit of like mauvey undertones to it. But I didn't want to wait until spring to tell you about it because I'm loving it now and I may forget by then. So really, really enjoying that. And I wouldn't mind picking up some other colors. So if you've tried any of these other, they're quite new here in Australia, the Color Rush lasting intense color balms let me know what your favorite shade is okay so that's it for my makeup favorites there were a lot so I'm going to try and move this along quite quickly I have a nail polish favorite this is the essence dark romance nail polish this is their the matte formula and it's in the shade 02 romance red this is a really pretty brown red shade it's not completely matte on the nails but it does have a nice finish if you wanted to really matte it out you probably need a matte top coat but it is like a unique finish and it goes on well it applies well it uh, it's quite inexpensive given that it is an essence nail polish doesn't chip straight away not my longest wearing nail polish ever but if you do put a top coat on again you probably need to put a matte top coat on to keep that matte finish it will last that little bit longer and overall it's just a nice autumnal or winter kind of nail polish shade 
For skincare, I've been absolutely loving my Antipodes products, really, really enjoying them. I just want to give like the brand a shout out almost for favorites. I've been wearing the, or using the Antipodes uh, Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream at night. And as you can see, I'm pretty much all out of this sample size. I've been using the Rejoice Light Facial Day Cream, which is a really nice day cream that's hydrating, but gives like a matte finish to the skin. It's not oily or too um, emollient, so it kind of dries down quite nicely and quite quickly which I enjoy. I've also been using the Skin Brightening and Tone Correcting Serum. I kind of alternate this between this and my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, both of which I really, really enjoy. And then the last product from them that I've been loving is the Antipodes Aurora Manuka Honey Mask. This is really nice and hydrating, but also great for those of you who have acne prone skin like myself because the honey, the Manuka honey in this and some other ingredients also are used to help treat acne and I've, so I've been enjoying that one quite a bit. The other skincare favorite I have for this month is by St. Ives and it's the Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub. This one has salicylic acid in it as well as natural olive and green tea extracts which are supposed to help treat acne. It is a scrub that I find can be used daily. It, it does have enough grit in it that it will sort of help remove the dead skin cells but it's not so gritty or so harsh that it's going to really aggravate your skin. If you can't use a lot of like manual or physical exfoliation then maybe you could just use this a couple of times a week. I like to use it in the morning to cleanse my skin and I find that it works really, really well for that. The one thing I would say is that it probably is better for an in-shower cleanser because the little like almost like sand particles that are used to exfoliate your skin are quite hard to wash away. I often find them in my hairline. Actually, if you looked really close, you'd probably find them in my hairline right now. So lucky we're not zoomed in too much. Um, so that'd be the only downside of this, but overall it is a really, really nice cleanser. So they are all my beauty related favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I wanted to chuck in a couple of other favorites for those of you who do enjoy seeing some other things that I've been loving. The first one is a candle. This is the Bath and Body Works Cinnamon Sugared Donut Candle. Love, love, love this. This is a really nice scent particularly for winter. It just smells like a cinnamon donut. It's a warm scent, but it's not cloying. Some of the other Bath and Body Works scents like this, I can't have burning for too long because at a point it just almost gets too much. Whereas this one seems to have the right balance of good scent throw and a strong scent without being too strong or too overpowering. Really, really lummy, yummy, sorry. So if you like donuts, then I think you would enjoy this candle. I also have an app favorite. It's called Studio or Studio Design. It is a photo editing app. I think it's also photo sharing as well, but I mainly use it for photo editing. It has some really cool functions. I mean, you can write on top of the photo, you can add pictures and little graphics and things, you can add different frames, you can add different filters, um, textures, crops, different words, little doodles and things like that. And it's just, it's a really fun way to edit your photos, something that I've been really enjoying. You can also make little memes or things like that if you wanted to on this, or even little logos and stuff for yourself as well. So really, really enjoying that app, would recommend checking it out. You guys know me, I love my music and I do have some song favorites for the month. Ghost by Ella Henderson is one of them. Absolutely love that song. I've also been enjoying Brighter Days by Saint Raymond, as well as Don't by Ed Sheeran, um, Boom Clap by Charlie XCX, and Sleeping with a Friend by Neon Trees. I will link all those songs for you guys in the description box below um, so you guys can check them out. Oh, I also have been enjoying Please Don't Say You Love Me by Gab Gabrielle Applin. Applin? I think I'm saying that right. Really, really enjoying all those songs. Quite different, like each song, but you can, I do have quite a eclectic taste in music and I've been really enjoying those. Oh, I also have been enjoying um, Latch by Disclosure featuring Sam Smith. See, lots and lots of song favorites. And then last but not least, I can't end this video without doing some book favorites. So I'm just going to bring up my Kindle app. Um, I really, really enjoyed Lead by Kylie Scott. Um, it's a series that I've been really enjoying. It's an Australian author. Absolutely love that series. I've also really, really loved More Than Forever. It came out at the start of the month, and I just, oh my goodness, I love that whole series by Jay McLean. Would highly recommend it. Um, I also really enjoyed Truce by R.L. Matheson and uh, what else? Oh, the Crossroads series by Melanie Sean. So again, I'll list those in the description box below with some links so you guys can check them out. But if you do enjoy books and reading and want to hear more, then I will do a book chat featuring, or I have done book chats featuring some of those books so you can hear me talk about them in more detail. 
Okay, so this video has gone on longer than I hoped, but I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about my favourites for the month of July. If you do make favourites videos, put the link in the comments below so I can check them out or just type in the comments what products you've been loving, whether they're beauty or non-beauty, totally up to you. I love hearing about your recommendations and just things that you're loving in general and I like being able to chat with you guys, so definitely uh, chat with me there as well as on any of my social media. They're always linked in the description box below as well. So other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye! I'm going to start filming now, Rachel. Now we'll end. <laughs> okay. Time to feel. I think I have cleanser still in my hair. How bad is that? It's okay. Don't tell anyone. Shh. You can almost get it to full coverage. Particularly when 